Okay, let's co go ahead and continue on with this. Our next problem, number six, is Sonia has $29.15 deducted from her weekly gross earnings of $265 for federal income taxes. What percent of Sonia's pay is withheld for federal income tax? Okay, so what percent? That's what they want to know. So that means the amount that is withheld is going to be our compared value. So this is going to be the amount withheld. And they want to know the percent, but this is also going to be the amount withheld. Well, let's see. The amount deducted from her weekly gross earnings So the only thing left is our weekly gross earnings. So our weekly gross earnings. Okay. Okay, so what do we know? Well, we know that this is going to be our variable. We know that the weekly gross is 265. And what else do we know? That the deduction is 29.15. Okay. So let's go ahead and solve for x. So we have x times 265 is equal to 29.15. Again, I want to get the x by itself here. I do that by doing the inverse operation. It's multiplied by 265, so to get rid of that, I divide by 265. I have to do it to both sides. That tells me that x is equal to 2915 divided by 265. And I get 0 0.11. But of course, I have to turn that into a percent. So I do this two places to the right, add the percent sign. Okay. So I can say 11% of earnings. is withheld. Okay, let's see what happens on this. Well, 11%, is it reasonable? 10% of 265 is 2650. We know that just moving the decimal over. Okay, 11% is a little bit more than that. 2915 is a little bit more than 2650. All right, in a medical study, it was found that 9% of the people who kissed someone who had a cold caught the cold themselves. Okay, so I've got my percent. So I have 9% of what? Of people who kissed one, someone that had a cold people kissed someone with cold caught cold themselves is people who caught cold. Okay, so we've got our equation here. Something times 
times something equals something else. We know we have 9%, which is going to be 0 0.9. Well, we don't know how many people were in the study. That's what they want us to know. So how many people? That's going to be our variable. And it tells us that 81 people caught cold after kissing somebody. I'm abbreviating, obviously, in here. So that's 81. Okay. So 0. Point, oh, and 9%, I messed that up, is 0 0.09. Since I want to get the x by itself, it's multiplied by 0 0.09. I divide both sides by 0 0.09, and I get x is 81 divided by... 0 0.09, which tells me that x is 900. So that would be 900 people who kissed someone with a cold. Okay, you have a 15% coupon how much will you save by using the coupon? So these are the two things that, that deal with the coupon. And the TV is $412. So we know that our percent is 15% of the TV cost is the discount. Well, what do they want to know? They want to know how much the how much the discount is. So I have 0 0.15 times the cost of the TV is the discount, which is what they want to know. So if I just multiply 0 0.15 times 412, that's going to be what that we want to know, and we end up that that is 61.80. Okay, out of a group of students, 17 said that they work a full-time job. This number is about 24% of the number of students surveyed. Okay, so out of a group of students, that's going to be our students surveyed. Seventeen said they work a full-time job. This number is about 24%. So to kind of translate it halfway, we know that 24% of students surveyed is students with a full-time job. Well, what of these do they want to know? 
They want to know how many students were surveyed, so that's where our variable is going to go. So we know 0 0.24 times x, that's what they want to know, is equal to 17. If I divide both sides by 0 0.24 to get the x by itself, we get that x is 17 divided by 0 0.24 which tells me x is 70.83, which is pieces of people. So that is going to be 71. And that is going to be the students in the survey. Okay, and for our last question in this one, let's talk about, it's Valentine's Day this weekend, so let's talk about flowers. The American Florist Association estimates that 120 million roses were sold for Valentine's Day in 2016. So let's see what's going to happen. So uh, that's all we know, is that 120 million roses were sold. That's where we're going to start with, but we don't know where that's going to come into the problem yet. Okay, using this information... 73% of the roses sold were red roses. 73% of the roses sold were red roses. And that's what they want us to know. How many red roses were sold that day. So in this particular one, since we're looking for 73% of, the reference value is the number of roses sold. So which is going to be larger, the number of roses sold or the number of red roses sold? Well, we're looking for a percent of these. The red roses is going to be a subset of the number of roses sold. So the larger is going to be the number of roses sold. Okay. So let's see what we know here. We know we're doing 73%. Roses sold is red roses. Okay, so I have 0 0.73. <coughs> we know roses sold, 120 million. So that's 120, whoa, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And what we want to know is how many red roses are sold. <coughs> so if I multiply this, I end up with 87,600,000 roses. <coughs> Now, as I'm looking at this, I am always thinking about the reasonableness. Okay. Well, 50% of 120 million is going to be 60 million. It's going to be half of that. 73% is should be right in between 60 million and 120 million, and in fact it is. All right, well, notice what we've done in this next problem then. Using the information from the prompt, so we're still using that 120 million roses were sold. We have 48%, but notice the of has changed. Of all cut flowers sold were roses. Okay. 
So here we go. Now what is the reference value? All cut flowers sold. Well, which is larger, the number of roses or the number of cut flowers? The number of roses is a subset, so the number of cut flowers is going to be the larger. Okay, so let's kind of semi-translate this. 48% of cut flowers is roses. So how many cut flowers were sold? That's what they want to know now. So I can now translate this into 0 0.48 times x is, and we know the number of roses, 120 million. Okay. All right, now let's think about this. This is almost half. So almost half of the cut flowers is 120 million. So what we get here should be at least 240, 250, 260 million. Okay, it's going to be twice the number of roses. So if I divide both sides by 0 0.48 in order to get rid of that and leave the x by itself, I get that x is 250, and these are cut flowers sold. Okay, that's the end of 3A Part 1, which is application percents.